Well, the Maryland Emergency Management Agency says federal officials have denied the state's request for a disaster declaration stemming from the damage caused in April's riots. Last month, the state requested the declaration, which would make public agencies and residents eligible for federal reimbursement on repairs. But the state applied under the Stafford Act, which only covers natural disaster damage. Initial denials can be appealed. So far, no word from the state on whether an appeal will be filed. And the Maryland Lottery is working to prevent winning tickets stolen during the April riots from being turned in for profit. Lottery officials say they've been able to automatically block more than 19,300 tickets from being cashed. Of those tickets, suspects did try to cash in nearly 1,800 stolen tickets in person. The highest value ticket that was blocked was worth 10 grand. But we are getting a better idea of how Governor Hogan intends to divvy up state money for riot expenses. 11 News I team reporter David Collins joins us live from City Hall with the details. David. Well, Donna, we found some answers in this Board of Public Works document. It details how the governor intends to spend $20 million of the state's rainy day fund on riot expenses and recovery. The cost of containment using state and outside resources is estimated to be more than $13 million. Deployment of the Maryland Army National Guard from April 27th through May 6th cost taxpayers more than $3.5 million. The bill includes overtime. The bill for staffing the Maryland Emergency Operations Center around the clock to coordinate all the resources needed comes to $9,392. D.C. police presented costs of $176,533. D.C. Fire Department submitted a bill for $66,120. The state of Ohio sent an incident management team at a cost of $150,000. Virginia sent $6,500 worth of non-lethal weapons kits. Support from Pennsylvania will cost taxpayers $767,071. This includes law enforcement plus incident management team support and A team. The state of New Jersey tallied its help providing law enforcement to $1.3 million. The Maryland Department of Public Safety and Correctional Services incurred $320,027 in expenses, and this includes personnel, overtime, equipment, and supplies. Maryland State Police helicopter patrols rung up $235,000 in expenses. Other state police costs include $984,663 for personnel and overtime, $35,000 for equipment and supplies, $29,160 for command and tactical vehicle operations, and $25,000 for damaged vehicles. The state is offering Baltimore City $5.1 million to help with recovery costs. Monies include a $1 million for the Baltimore City Summer Youth Works Program, $1.5 million in business recovery loans, a half million in business facade grants, $150,000 for business facade design and implementation, and $2 million in down payment grants for new homeowners. Turns out not all the $20 million the governor set aside will actually be used. $7 million, or nearly $7 million, will be put back into the state's rainy day fund. The Board of Public Works will vote on this proposal next Tuesday. Reporting live from City Hall, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.